Oh, old John. I have found some rot. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here, and it's another beautiful day here in Lincolnshire with the Red Micra. If you haven't seen the video on the channel, Dad and I pulled it out of the garage yesterday, and, well, I've done nothing else with it since. It actually didn't look too bad, and surprisingly, we hooked a jump pack up to it, and it started. If you are new to this series, we're planning on taking it to the Rustival 2 in September. This is my first car and it's been off the road for about 10 years. It is running a little bit rough and that is because the petrol in it, well, is 10 years old. So I've been down to Tesco. Um, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, litres of um, E5 petrol and a bottle of Red X as well. So we're going to first of all stick that in there and uh, the Red X just to try and flush that system out and get the new petrol in there. We did consider trying to get all the old petrol out. There was a quarter of a tank. However, Dad suggested that it would be quite difficult to get that out of there. So the plan is just to put lots of fresh petrol through the system and that cleaner, and hopefully it is going to be running better to the point where we can get it around the front and onto the trailer, because I can't get the car trailer around the back here. So at the moment we're scuppered and we need the car to move. In this video then, more progress on the K11 Micra. Ah, the granddad inspector is here. This time it's Daisy Cat, bless her. She's, uh, she's doing well for 20. Um, what's the plan then? We're gonna stick this fresh petrol in, yeah, stick, the petrol in. stick the Red X in, and hopefully get it running right, eh? Yeah. Well, I've put quite a bit in there actually. And in goes the fresh petrol as well. I've put, I've bought E5 for this. Hopefully it's gonna flush that system out. Right, so before I start it up, I'm going to put some water in the radiator here. I'm not putting coolant in at this stage because we are going to be drailing the coolant system and uh, cleaning it all out. Probably going to be replacing the water pump as well at a, at a later date. So just going to put some fresh water in it. Oh look who it is! It's the walkies inspector. <laughs> right so I'm going to fill the water up here. I'm using water from my dehumidifier whether or not that makes a difference at all. But I have put, well, two pints in already and actually it's not at the top of the radiator so now that has taken four pints of water more water might as well bring the hose pipe over I think what are you looking at what can you see under there I'm just having a look see if I can see why that water's disappeared son yeah so we've what filled the radiator up we yeah. filled the coolant up yeah worst case scenario head gasket's gone We've been stood. How will we know? We shall know. And we'll get it running up and running. Yeah, I'm guessing it will be... Uh, yeah, it's not whatever it is, it's not the end of the world. It'll be it? leaking. Uh, you've got the car jacked up here yeah, just on this side. Sure everything turns a bit. How's it looking it's underneath not, there? Yeah. Brakes are all seized up. Yeah. yeah it turns, not. it's not stuck, stuck, stuck. No, they're not right, are they? What's the next plan? Get it started up? Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, we need to hang a battery on it, don't we? Yeah. Hang a battery on it. Starter up mover. I'm going to steal a battery from the Museum Micra. Don't shout at me. It's a good day for tinkering with your Nissan Micra. It well is. Father and son bonding. Over rusty Japanese cars. So on this battery here, on the terminals, is a lot of Vaseline. What is the uh, purpose of that? <laughs> it's to prevent corrosion. Well, it's done a relatively good job. Sadly, it hasn't prevented Ooh. corrosion at the rear sills. Oh, old John. What you found? I, found a, I have found some rot. Oh yeah? Mm. Big rot? Mm. Oh dear. Oh yeah. We we'll have to do that. It's going to get water in. Is it underneath? It's in here. It's not something that's a, it's not a failure, but it needs doing to stop the water getting in. Yep. 
So I've put that battery on charge. Whether or not it'll be any good, I highly doubt it. But we shall find out. Also, bonus Proton Center console content. What have you found under there? What are you doing? Oh, we've found a bit of cos... Well, it's not structural rot, but there's a bit of rot in this back here behind the wheel arch. Okay. Sort of in this... Yeah. In the cover there? Yeah. Okay. A small person could get their hand in it. What are we going to do with that then? Patch it. But it's not it's structural, not it's just... No, it's not. It's too far away from everything. Okay. And it's it... just inside the wheel arch there? Yeah. Okay. It's, it needs doing to stop the water getting in. Yeah, absolutely. But we could just weld it in and yeah. spray it. Good news is we don't have to put any paintwork on the actual car. Okay, that could have been worse. Museum Micra, please forgive me for what I am about to do to you. I mean you no harm. This feels very wrong. Aha! It's a good job I did that because there is some rust in there that needs addressing and some dirt as well. So that was not a bad thing. How's it looking? Not so bad this side. No? No, it's not too bad at all. I have a battery. Good man, oh. stick her on. I've just smacked my head on the corner of oh, there. That's... that's a common thing to do. It is a common thing to do with motor mechanicing. I have stolen this battery from the Museum Micra, but it was worthwhile, and I tell you for why. Yeah. Because the battery carrier in the Museum Micra uh, needs a dressing. Oh yeah. There is some surface rust that needs looking at. Yeah. And dead spiders. You know what we could have done? What? We could have put the Museum Micra in the garage after we cleaned it up. We're going to. Oh, we? It's not got a battery in it now. We just have to push it. Right, new battery or you know donor battery is in place. Donor kebab. Donut. <laughs> I'd quite like a donor kebab right now. That'd probably make me quite poorly. That brake's got something wrong with it. What are you saying? That brake's got something wrong with it. Oh, it's too hot for old dogs, isn't it? Hey, this is all my fur grunted. Hey? The walkies inspector is here. Yeah. So in theory, now, the car should start and run. It is chocked up and it is in gear. I am filthy, so I'll wipe them on the jeans. Um, if it starts and runs, I can get it on the trailer. She's out of gear, what do you reckon? Here we go. Struggling. Yeah, it needs, a, it needs a bit of love. We need to get all that stale fuel through the system. And at the moment, it's still in the system. She doesn't want to tick over properly. Don't appear to be controlling your idle. So we've got it started up. We have got it ticking over. It's not ticking over exceptionally well. You can see it's struggling, and here it's struggling a little bit. I'm the idle is not going too well. It's not chucking loads of steam out, so the water's not got in the bores. It just needs time to get used to running again. It's not ticking over very well, is it? No. I'm not going to panic about that. It's not steamy, but it is thinking about dying. Yeah, it doesn't like that old fuel. We should have drained it off, I suppose, really, but it's going to, it's going to, it's going to mix up a bit as it runs. That's not a happy car. No, it's not, it's not all happy. It's just a bit bothered. We run a lot worse than that. Oh. What happened there? I put my foot on the throttle. <laughs> mm. 
Not a happy girl. To see if we've got any nests in here. Yeah, so it has had you know, a rat's nest or a mouse nest in it, uh, but it was in sort of the, the suspension top. Mm -hmm. The air filter looks very good, doesn't it? Well, that's um, the clean side. She's not running right, is the honest answer. She keeps dying. Um, could be that horrible fuel, couldn't it? But We're expecting it is. And that looks okay. Yeah. Anyway, we've got no nests in there. Let's not panic about that. Taking time to wake up is what we're thinking. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need a whole new throttle body and MAF sensor. Could it be ECU problem? It's not a problem, it's just, you know what it is. A concern? It's, a, yeah, it's not a problem, it's a concern. Does she need some oil? No, yeah, well it's going to get oil changed anyway when we change the sump. <laughs> In the ear out. No. You can't, can you? Can't do any whirring, can you? There's no whirring. Really. What is it you're looking for? I was looking to see if the idle, I could hear the idle control valve working, and I can't. I'm not panicking now because it, it runs not too bad, does it? Not too bad at all, really. Got a MAF sensor there. Got a throttle position sensor there. Got idle control valve. So this yeah. is the MAF sensor in yeah, here, it is. <laughs> which goes into the throttle body. It looks nice and new. Well, I think we've replaced it. Yeah, we have. It's got the one grafted on from an Almira with you change the... You change the resistor, don't you? You do. You've got it, you change the air temperature sensor resistor. Let's face it, it hasn't been struck up for donkey's years, so at least... I'll convince myself most of your trouble is still stale fuel. Okay. I'm not worried. I really aren't worried. Done very well to even start up. Yes, yes, I can't argue. She's done very well. Oh, I'm not surprised. I told you it's the best cars in the world. It's the whole clan now. Oh, good. We've got Crystal, we've got Mrs. John Coopland, we've got the mop. So you've just fired her up again, and she did fire up relatively okay that time and ticking over still struggling but it's too slow isn't it? sounding a bit better there is no fast idle what's the plan i haven't got a plan and i'm not worried too much because i've got plenty of cars i can raid bits off oh my goodness take them off the museum car you can stop taking bits off the uh, the fleet what is mrs john cooper doing over here Excuse me, have you got permission to be in the Coupland collection? What are you doing, darling? Oh, it's the mob! That's the least of our concerns right now, mate. I'm just got filling that up. Yeah, it's alright, I've got loads of water from topping that up. Ah, you've topped it up, have you? We need some more water in there. After it's been running. It's alive! It's alive! I reckon it's the fuel. I think you're right. We should have drained it. Yeah, just, uh, just leave it there, mate. Yeah, just, just leave it there, sir. We'll get it on the trailer in the morning. Well, it may or may not be helpful, but I've put the front number plate on. And already the fluffy micro inspector is here. What do you think to that, Mop? Aha, now the rear number plates are on as well. That's only temporary, but uh, just so I don't lose them. Well, there you have it then, a quick update video, part, I don't know, one of however many on the K11 Micra. 
It might not be as simple as we thought. We've put that new fuel in. In hindsight, we should have drained that tank. We've put that Red X in. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. It is not running right. And there's probably lots of diagnostics that we're going to have to do. Tomorrow, we're gonna to get the car on the trailer and we're gonna get it to Dad's house and then he can work on it at his leisure. I have put some parts in the boot that I already have in stock, including a new sump, a new tail light, uh, some new mud flaps and some new badges, stuff that I've collected up over the years. Apart from not running right, underneath she's not as bad as I expected and actually, apart from giving it a damn good scrub, I don't think it's going to go too wrong. We'll soon find out when we start taking wheels off, when we start jacking it up properly, when we start getting it on diagnostic machines and we start doing the proper work on it. But getting it out of the garage didn't go too bad. Getting it moving under its own steam, well it is. Will we get it running right? I'm still confident it's that uh, naff fuel. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. There's gonna be so much more content with regards to this little red micro coming to the channel. Let me know in the comments below. What do you reckon? Naff fuel or something else going on there? Till next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this video. I've selected a couple more from my channel for you that I think that you might like here. Give them a click and it will take you to the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe to always stay up to date with what we're getting up to.